stand in an alert posture. Keep feet comfortably apart and your arms on the waist. Exhale and bend head forward slowly and try to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, move the head as far back as is comfortable and come back with inhalation. Right and left neck bending. Exhale, bend the head slowly to the right. Bring the ear as close as possible to the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to normal position. Exhale, bend the head to the left side. Inhale, bring the head up to normal position. Right and left twisting. Exhale, gently turn the head to the right side so that the chin is in line with the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to the normal position. Exhale, turn the head to the left side. Inhale, and bring the head to the normal position. Neck rotation. Bend the head forward trying to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, slowly rotate the head clockwise. While coming down, exhale. Rotate the head in anti-clockwise direction. Feel the stretch around the neck and loosening up of the joints and muscles of the neck and release of tension in the neck. People with neck pain and spondylitis should do the practice gently. Shoulder movements. Feet together make the body straight. The arms by the sides. Inhale. Raise both the arms sideways above your head with the palms outwards. Exhale and bring them down in the same manner. The arms must not touch the head when going up or the thighs when coming down. The palms must be open with the fingers together. shoulder rotation. Stand erect. Raise both the arms. Place the fingers of the left hand on the left shoulder and the fingers of the right hand on the right shoulder. Full rotation of both the elbows in a circular manner. Try to touch the elbows in front of the chest on the forward movement and touch the ears while moving up. Stretch the arm back in the backward movement and touch the sides of the trunk while coming down. Do the same anti-clockwise. And repeat five times. Practice of this Kriya makes the bones, muscles and nerves of the shoulder region healthy. These practices are helpful in cervical spondylitis and frozen shoulder. Trunk twisting. Keep the legs about two feet apart. Raise both the arms up to chest level with the palms facing each other. Exhale. Twist the body towards the right side so that the left palm touches the right shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Now exhale, twist the body towards the left side so that the right palm touches the left shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Repeat, do slowly with breathing. Avoid this practice in case of vertebral and disc disorders and during menstruation. Relax in standing posture. Knee movements. Inhale. Lift your arms up at the shoulder level. Exhale. 
bend the knees and bring down your body to the squatting position. Inhale and straighten the body. Repeat two more times. This practice strengthens the knees and hip joints. Avoid this in case suffering from acute arthritis. Exhale while bringing down the hands. Now let us move to Yogasana. Tarasana. Tar means palm tree. Keep your feet two inches apart. Interlock the fingers and turn the wrist outwards. Inhale. Raise the arms up and bring them in line with the shoulders. Raise the heels off the floor and balance on the toes. Stay in this position for 10 to 15 seconds. This asan brings stability in the body, helps to clear up congestion of the spinal nerves, corrects faulty posture. Exhale, bring the heels down. Release the interlock of the fingers and bring the arms down parallel to the trunk and come back to a standing posture. Vrikshasana Vriksh means tree. Stand with the feet two inches apart. Focus on a point in front. Exhale, bend the right leg and place the foot on the inside of the left thigh. The heel should be touching the perineum. Inhale and extend the arms up and join the palms. Stay in this position for 10 to 15 seconds and breathe normally. This improves neuromuscular coordination, endurance and alertness. Avoid this practice in case of arthritis and obesity. Exhale and bring the arms and right foot down and repeat the asan, bend the left leg and place the foot on the right thigh. The heel should touch the perineum. Inhale. Extend the arms up and join the palms. Relax. Padhastasana. Pada means foot. Hasta means hand. Inhale slowly and raise the arms up. Stretch up the body from the waist. Exhale and bend forward until the entire palm rests on the ground. Maintain this final posture for 10 to 30 seconds. Those who have a stiff back should bend according to their capacity. Now inhale. Come up slowly to the vertical position and stretch the arms above the head. Exhale and slowly return to the starting position in reverse order. Relax. Ardha Chakrasan Support the back at the waist. Exhale. Drop the head backwards, stretch the neck muscles and bend backwards from the lumbar region. Relax with normal breathing. Stay there for 10 to 30 seconds. Ardha Chakra makes the spine flexible and strengthens the spinal nerves and improves breathing capacity. Inhale and slowly come up and relax. Hypertensive patients shall bend with care. Trikonasan Trikon means triangle. Stand with your feet comfortably apart. Slowly raise both the arms sideways till they are horizontal. Exhale, slowly bend to the right side and place the right hand just behind the right foot. The left arm is straight up in line with the right arm. 
Remain in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breathing. This prevents flat foot, strengthens the calf, thigh and waist muscles, makes the spine flexible. As you inhale, slowly come up. Repeat for the left side. Avoid this posture in case of slipped disc, sciatica and after undergoing abdominal surgery. Do not go beyond your limits. Sit in Danda Asan. Fold your legs and sit on your heels. Keep the thighs close and big toes touching. Place the hands on the knees. The head and back should be straight. This is Vajrasana. Kapalabhati It and stimulates respiratory centers in the frontal brain. Sit in any meditative posture. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Inhale deeply. Expand the chest. Expel the breath with forceful contractions of the abdominal muscles. Continue active exhalation and passive inhalation. Then take a deep breath Exhale slowly and relax. This is one round of Kapalabhati. Each round should be followed by deep breathing. Pranayama Nadi Shodhana or Anulom Vilom Pranayama is alternate breathing through the left and right nostrils. Sit in a meditative posture. Keep the spine straight and the head erect with eyes closed. Relax the body with a few deep breaths. Keep the left palm on the left knee in Jnana Mudra. The right hand should be in the Nasikagra Mudra. Place the right thumb on the right nostril. Breathe in from the left nostril. Close the left nostril. Exhale through the right nostril. Next, inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril and exhale through it. Left nostril. Brahmari Pranayama. Mm. Brahmara means a black bee. During the exhalation of this pranayam, the sound produced resembles the buzzing of a black bee. Inhale deeply through both nostrils. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner, making a deep, steady, humming sound as that of a black bee. This is one round of Brahmari. Now do the Brahmari with Shanmukhi Mudra. Close your ears with your thumbs. Place the forefingers on your eyes, middle fingers on the nostrils, ring finger and small fingers on the lips. Open your nose and inhale through both nostrils. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner making the deep humming sound of a black bee. It is a useful preparatory pranayam 
for concentration and meditation.